Hey honeys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Real J Wells. If you didn't know, now you know. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're returning, honey, what's goody in a hoodie, y'all? So, as y'all can tell by the title, today's video is going to be, drum roll please, <laughs> how to lose 20 pounds in a month. I know you guys, really enjoy the last two videos that I posted, giving you guys tips on how to lose 20 pounds in a month. So I said, why not come back and give you guys another one? It's been like a year since I gave you guys some tips, so I definitely have more tips because I'm, I'm continuously on my health and fitness journey and trying to lose weight and maintain my shape and stuff so i definitely have some tips for you guys so if you guys are interested in the tips that i have um just stay tuned and keep on watching and let's get into the tip so as you all know if you're not new to my channel i did i've been on my weight loss journey for a minute and i did lose about 30 pounds but I gained maybe like 10 pounds back to have the shape that I wanted because a good weight for me is like 160, like maybe like 155 to 160. That's a nice weight. Anything smaller than that is not really what I typically want to look like. So these tips that I have for you guys really helped me get that nice figure that I was going for. So really using these tips, let me know if you guys use these in the comments below because I'm really trying to have everybody out here snatched and giving the girls and the guys a body out yachty. You know what I'm saying? First tip that I have for you guys is to weigh your food and you can get you a food scale. I mean like food scaling that stuff, um, measuring like tablespoons, measuring everything that you're eating and putting into your body because a lot of times we just don't know what we're eating. We don't know how much we're intaking and losing weight is simply burning more calories than what you're actually taking in and eating is gonna help you lose weight. That's a simple way of putting it in a simple concept. I feel like all of these diets and stuff really make it sound so complicated. Like I need to count this, I need to count that, I can't eat this, I can't eat that. But really what it all comes down to is burning more calories than what you're taking in. Yes, if you change the certain types of food that you eat, it will change like the your body. Like I, if you're eating breads and stuff versus eating vegetables, your body is gonna look a little different. But you have seen people that you can look 160 and 160, but it may look different, you know? So that's why that is. But weighing your food is going to be a major key to you losing that 20 pounds in a month because you may think you're eating healthy, but you don't know how many calories you're actually taking in. And you're doing all this hard work. You're working out really, really hard in the gym, but you don't have that diet under control because you're not weighing your food and you had a bag of chips and you didn't know that that bag of chips was 500 calories. You thought, oh, well, I only had a serving size, 160. Like a lot of people don't even notice that the the amount of calories that's on the back of a chips is not one, like for the whole bag. That's just one serving amount. That's just like a portion of that bag. So you really have to weigh out the stuff that you're putting in your body and really measuring it out. I always talk about my fitness pal because I feel like my fitness pal has really helped me as far as my health and fitness journey and measuring out the food that I'm putting in my body because it allows you to keep track of everything that you're putting in your body. So I love it. Um, I definitely recommend you guys go download my fitness pal because it helps you and you can actually scan like the things that you're eating. So yeah. So the next thing y'all know is intermittent fasting. Y'all know I always talk about that when it comes to losing weight because it's really always, it, it, it has a real place in my heart. The intermittent fasting really has a place in my heart because it really helps me lose the weight and kind of break a little bit of my relationship with food. I'm not like the biggest breakfast person, honestly. Like I can go without eating. And my fasting really has helped. Like it's 
12.40 or something right now. And I haven't ate anything, but that's how I've gotten to lose weight. Like if you have a shorter span for me, this is just what worked for me. If you have a shorter span of eating, you're not able to get that many calories in. So that decreases how many calories you're intaking because you're not even able to, if you give yourself, okay, well, I have this window that I'm able to eat. So if I have 16 hours, if I have 16 hours to eat or eight, I mean, eight hours, I'm sorry, I was 16, eight. If I have an eight hour window to eat, you really have to get your calories in because there's not really a big time frame. A lot of us really eat throughout the entire day, but that intermittent fasting really gives your body time to digest that food. And then once that food's digested, then you're it's eating on that fat and you're, you're speeding up your metabolism. So everyone has their own opinion and their own theory, but I feel like really try what works for you. I really preach intermittent fasting because it worked for me. That's why I really like to reiterate that because it may not work for the next person. I know people comment on my videos and they're like, don't do this and you shouldn't do that. And I feel like you have to really find what works for you. So try it out. And if and if that doesn't work for you, some of these tips may, may not work for you and some of them may do work for you, but create a routine that really works for you and that's sustainable for you because you don't want to just try to mimic everything someone does because it, it, everything may not work because y'all are two different people. But intermittent fasting is definitely, definitely good for you. And y'all know if you are uh, true to this channel, you know I love intermittent fasting. And I definitely, definitely did that heavy when I first was starting my weight loss journey. So if you guys do want more in information about intermittent fasting i do actually have a video like talking all about it and in depth so i will leave that in the eye above you know for for the people that's watching this video and they just want to know what's really the tea on this intermittent fasting stuff that she's talking about click that video so the next thing that i did and incorporated to help lose 20 pounds in a month is strength training so strength training is something that I was like, oh, I'm like running away from it because I don't like lifting weights. It's like if, you, if you're if you a cardio maniac, you hate the weights. And if you are a weight maniac, you hate the cardio. It's always like that. So I never really like to lift weights. But if you don't do any strength training, you, you can lose the weight, but you're going to be skinny fat. And we don't want to be skinny fat. We want to be giving like body, yaddy, yaddy. You know what I'm saying? So the strength training is really going to help you burn those extra calories when you're not actually in the gym because you're building that muscle. And that muscle is going to burn more calories when you're not actually at the gym working out. So definitely just... You can look up videos on YouTube. Y'all can look at my videos as well. Um, I will also be uploading more strength training videos for you guys just to help you because I'm helping myself. I'm helping myself and I definitely want you guys to know the tea and know the things that you can do to get you right. And that strength training is really gonna like curve you on out. Like you see what I'm saying? So, and I am trying to incorporate it definitely a lot more and it's definitely been helping me and I've been seeing like a difference in like just the tone up in a lot of areas in my body. So, I really am excited about that and I definitely know that you guys need to make sure from beginning of your weight loss journey to the end and forever, you need to make sure that you're incorporating that strength training because it's going to make you look good, feel good, and burn extra calories. If there's a way that you can burn more, then why not do it? So, yeah, stay tuned and make sure you subscribe and cut that bell notification on so that when I post these strength training videos, y'all will get notified. So, the next thing is to incorporate active activities throughout your day. Um, and that 
I mean, outside of working out, um, outside of going to the gym. And I, the way I try to do that is by having a more active job. I noticed when I was working a job that was not active, I was really just sitting at the desk all day. I was gaining weight because you're just sitting there wanting a snack, you're just bored. And I really do just like to be moving and stuff. Like I like to be active and it really helps with my, keeping my weight down and stuff. So I like to do that, but you can also, you know, just go on walks and stuff on a daily, um, try to park your car a far distance from your job entrance so that you have a long distance to walk in in the morning that'll give you a walk and then when you get off you have a long distance to walk and when you go to the grocery stores just try to incorporate let me just be a little more active and do a little more and a little more and a little more and a little more each time so that is going to help you lose that 20 pounds in a month you have to just be more active than what you're currently being so daily active activity is definitely going to get you to your goal sooner, which is at 20 pounds in one month. So the last tip that I have for you guys is to incorporate lots of water. Water is so good for you. And I know it sounds kind of cliche. That's why I was like, you know, I'm just put this tip on the end. <laughs> I'm just put this tip on the end because I feel like y'all know this, but I do got to reiterate that you need to drink lots of water. Water is going to flush you out it's going to get all of those toxins out of your body and aid in your weight loss. And then on top of that, the skin is going to be glowing. So if those are all pluses, there's no con to drinking water. So you need to just drink a lot of water. And it's recommended that you drink half your body weight's worth of water. And so if you can get that in or get one of those gallon um jugs and that have like the time stamps on them and stuff if you get one of those that'll help you incorporate more water into your daily routine so those are all of the tips that i have for you guys to help you guys lose 20 pounds in one month i was able to lose 20 pounds in one month using these tips um i think i will say there is not a hundred percent guarantee that you will lose 20 pounds in one month like I did, but I am just sharing with you guys my experience. And I know that these tips are going to help you guys, whether you lose 20 pounds in one month or not. Your health and your fitness is always important. And if you're on this journey, you're on the journey to wealth. Health is wealth, baby. So thank you guys so much. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye y'all.